Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how y'all doing? It's Kaiser, and well, as if, uh, you know, good old misery loves company, and in addition to uh, Star Wars and Lucasfilm losing crap loads of money, apparently Marvel wants to get in on the action too and continue just flushing money down the drain. Yep, that's right, folks, She-Hulk has been apparently uh, renewed for a second season. We got a potential release date cast, and we've got information on this production. So I'm not going to really uh, delve too far into this because it really is just kind of... Uh, <laughs> one, there's nothing definitive, but it sounds like there is a lot of kind of hype and tease for this one. So even the article does get into this saying, at this moment, Marvel Studios hasn't confirmed that She-Hulk Attorney at Law will move into season two, although there are a number of reasons to think that they're, that this is already on the table. Uh, apparently, they're just saying that they did lead, they led into it for a uh, season two with a dream sequence in the episode nine. And when... Jennifer asked to speak with the Kevin AI program, making all the MCU's decisions. <clears throat> and yeah, apparently in an exclusive interview with the direct director, uh, Kat Corio explained that how, quote, this premise of superhero human law firm kind of lends itself to infinite possibilities. Unquote. In terms of who could join the second season, what stories could be told. Eh, they kind of get into it here, but yeah, they're just saying, quote, I mean, it's, I mean, what's so exciting to me is that you have the premise of superhuman law firm that kind of deals, or that kind of lends itself to infinite possibilities. You could literally have any character who has ever existed in the MCU or who has ever, will ever exist pass through these doors and it would feel like a, wouldn't feel like a gratuitous cameo. It wouldn't, it would feel organic. So I think the sky's the limit in terms of what they can do with this moving forward, unquote. Okay, well, so they don't know if this show is actually going to get a season two or not. So that kind of leads everybody to asking, why in the hell would they do this? Because, I mean, the show, while it was got a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes from all the critics... The audiences, by and large, hated this show, only rating it a 32%. It was the first, and it really, uh, yeah, the, it was the first show for Marvel to not make the Nielsen ratings for streaming charts. Then there was the absolutely abysmal ending to season one with the fourth wall break. But, I mean, hey, apparently it's all okay because Kevin Feige... Claims he fully backs disastrous She-Hulk Attorney at Law series that was specifically made to attack Marvel Studios' former fans. So, you know, apparently, Disney just want more of that. Because they apparently think that's what the fans want. They apparently think that the fans want to continue to be preached to told how much they're absolute crap, at least the men anyway, and that the girls are just so much better. Okay, seriously, can we just have an even-handed story for once? No? Okay, fine. But yeah, so essentially what's going on here is that there is rumors going around, they're being picked up by a lot of outlets, that She-Hulk could be potentially getting a second season, and, well... I think we all know what's, uh, I think we all can smell what's coming. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Yeah, if that's the case, then, uh, <laughs> this show is going to be an absolute disaster. It's going to be worth it for the memes, but that's about it, because I'm pretty sure they're going to double down on the woke, double down on the cringe, double down on all of the worst aspects from the first season, including the whole twerking thing. That, oh God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's all going to come back around and it's going to be just as bad, if not worse, than before. Look, I know some of y'all may or may not be, uh, especially if you're first, 
time to my channel, you're looking at my content, you're probably thinking, yeah, this guy doesn't really like She-Hulk very much. Well, that's fine. I don't have to. And likewise, I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. The fact is, they tried to make this series for a wide range of people. They tried to get everybody to watch it. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. And they decided they were just going to double down on the crap, make fun of their audience, make fun of the people that actually liked Marvel when it was good, and, you know, just decided to push a bunch of you know, their usual politics and BS. Well, guess what? If you really want to watch a uh, funny and interesting and, you know, you know, superhero show about a show about a uh, superhero law firm and it's a comedy, go back to the old days of like the like Adult Swim over on Cartoon Network. Pick up a copy or watch the old episodes of Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law and It'll be so much better than the crap you're getting here. Anyway, folks, that's all I got. Definitely go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all tonight. I'm covering a little bit more of Ahsoka. And we're going to be watching season, th sorry, episode three of season one of Ahsoka tonight. And I'm going to be reviewing it, giving you my honest opinions. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not hold back anything. So anyway, thanks you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Peace. <laughs>